Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Taylor, if you're here for the first time. Um, today, we're gonna be giving you a nursery tour for our baby boy, Nash. Um, super excited about it. We put a lot into it, so let's go. to do more of like an edgy modern theme so I'm gonna start over here so over here we have his dresser which is from Wayfair shout out to mommy and we have his hatch grow for the changing pad which was a registry gift and over here is like his changing station so I have diapers and then I have these pretty sure this is for soap but his soap dispenser for hand sanitizer and lotion. And then we have his little brush and comb in here and a silver spoon that my mom got Gigi with his initials on it. I don't know where I wanna put it yet. And then also, another, another registry gift is the diaper warmer. Um, that's white. Everything is white and black, by the way. And then his name is blue because I just wanted to keep it real clean and modern. This mirror is from Amazon. So I wanted the CB2 one, which was like $200. I got this for $60. And then I have this clear jar for his pacifiers which I got from Target it was in the like three dollar section when you first come in and this is his special pacifier from Gigi and then this was also a gift and it just has his name with the date on it so I'm not sure where this is from but we're gonna link everything in the comments as well. And now let's get into the chores. So I organized them as the best as I could. So the top one, you're gonna have his pampers and his wipes. And then as you go down to the next one, these are his long sleeve onesies, I believe, or they're short sleeve. But I organized them by size. So it starts at newborn and then you work your way over. Then I also put his little jeans on the side as well. And then we go down, these are his leggings. Um, as you see, I went a little crazy with the clothes, but it was only right. So we have his leggings and then a few more pair of shorts and jeans in the bottom. And then on the other side are his hats mittens, socks, um, kind of like the healthcare products, I guess. Um, teethers and pacifiers that didn't match the room, so I'll put them in here. And then we go down, more onesies. Okay, this is the long sleeve onesies. So that was the short sleeve. The long sleeve onesies, again, newborn, and I believe we have all the way up to like, one year of age and then joggers of course because i mean that's all i wear so he had to have them so that is how his drawers are organized now we can move over the reading breastfeeding corner um we have a glider this is from target but i know they sell it at like target wayfair all modern it's pretty much everywhere and this pillow I got the cover off of Etsy the lamp is from Target and the bookshelves were gifts from the registry they are the acrylic ones which I was 
super excited about because you can literally see everything. Um, so it'll be easy to just grab and read to him. This is from Amazon. We wanted some from Ikea, but it's always sold out. And the peace sign I got from TJ Maxx, which was also something I already had from my apartment. And then I just wanted to give it a little edge, so I added the um, coffee table books, um, which I thought would be pretty cool. And then a candle from Nordstrom. As we move over, the blinds, um, they are from Amazon. Basically everything here is from either Amazon or Never mind, just Amazon pretty much. <laughs> um, Amazon and then the rod is also from Amazon. Um, it took me about three tries to actually found a blind that we liked. So we finally found one. The rocker is also from Amazon. Um, and it originally came, it was white with like a natural wood for these items. So we just did a little DIY and spray painted that to match the black and white theme. And the plant we already had, that is for my apartment. That is a baby delight, which was a registry gift. We don't know where we're gonna put it yet, so we just stashed it in the corner. And then this is our favorite part of the room. So his name, of course, is the highlight of his room. It's a neon sign we got from Amazon. And the wall, we just did a black, like matte accent wall. Shout out to Tim. I will link his Instagram if you all need any painting done. And the crib and the dresser, it was a set. So this is also from Wayfair. And then we have a Build-A-Bear. For the football, of course. Shout out to my fiance. Yeah. <laughs> gang, gang. Had to have football in here somewhere. My little star in the making. And then the sheets, I actually found, I saw on Pinterest uh, from the original thing we wanted to do. I'll have to tag it. I do not remember the actual website. Um, but I was pressed for these. And then the blanket is literally just like a $10 blanket from Amazon. And then as we move over to the corner, well, we'll start here. This, um, I forget what it's called. It's like a gym activity thing for the baby. I got it for decoration, but obviously he's gonna use it for tummy time. This is from Amazon, it was a registry gift also. And then I just grabbed this itty bitty fur rug off of Amazon as well. In the corner, we have this beautiful stroller that I needed. It was a one, but I needed it. My mom um, got it for me, or got it for us. It is the Mima stroller, um, and she got it from Nordstrom. And his diaper bag, um, this was also a need that she actually got off of Poshmark, and they do verify um, luxury items. So if you're interested, and getting a luxury item but you don't want to pay the full price, go to Poshmark. Um, and we can go to this corner. Over here, so obviously, if you all know me at least, I'm in the fashion. So little man, he got his dad's football, sports thing, so he had to have a little clothing rack. Um, and these are just my like favorite pieces. But I got this from Etsy. It was just a handmade piece, and I felt it was perfect for the room. It is wood. And then here, we have a trunk from Bed Bath & Beyond. These pillows I just already had, so I put them in here because it matched. And this is the Frida Humidifier, which was also a gift from the registry. But in the trunk, we just have um, additional wipes stored away. So it's just acting as a storage unit. All right, now let's get into the part I know a lot of people have been waiting for, which is the closet. So, this 
So as you can see, he has more than what he will need. <laughs> but that is, you know, it was only right. He's the first baby. So I have it sized um, with, I'll just take one off. These sizers, they start from newborn and go all the way up to toddler. And yes, he has stuff in toddler clothes already. Um, so everything is organized. I didn't color coordinate it, but I did organize it in some fashion. And then we just have our extra stuff. So our diaper, our diaper, our carriers, our diaper bags, which we have four of them all together. Too many. So another thing, we don't really need all of them, but we're extra. And which one are you going to carry majority of the time? Have the, oh, the Gucci one, of course. Okay, let's see it. You gotta show the people. Look, it's over here. Oh, you mean the carrier? Carrier. Oh, yeah. So, it matches the diaper bag. bag. So, I won't wear this to like quick stops, but actually, I might. But that's mine. Keith's pretty basic. I'm just kidding. But. His is just simple, gray, very masculine. I have a diaper book bag also for literal quick trips. This is Dagny Dover. I'm probably not saying that right, but this was highly recommended on other YouTube videos. And this is from, actually I got this from the extra website, but they also sell it at Nordstrom. And this is Keith's Amazon book bag you can see who's more high maintenance Big um, facts. but it matched i just told him it needed to match because it's a reflection on me still so this is from amazon you can get in here he has i don't know if you can get in here. we have a lot of diapers and yeah this is all diaper storage and then he has shoes up there which we want to get in clear bins so we can actually see them. We have like the um, wrap carriers, so the ones that aren't structured. We have a few of those. And what else? Oh, additional books are also stored in here that we couldn't get on the shelving. And a little toy box as well. And then we just have his boppy and his Daka Tot. We have literally like four of the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> they all serve the same purpose, but we want to figure out what he likes. So, and then over here, I organized these and I have them in the mesh so we can see it. So it's a lot easier. So these are like his extra sheets and covers. These are his blankets and swaddles. Then we have his bibs and burp cloths and cloth diapers which i don't really know how those work but whatever and this is bath time bin so that is his closet we're gonna try to get him in all of these clothes he might just have five outfit changes a day okay guys so that was the nursery tour i hope you enjoyed it um keith and i had a great time decorating the room um i will try to link all the items below in the comments um, and then also comment what videos you all would like to see next and please subscribe and hit the like button so yes again let us know what you want to see and thank you for tuning in